What if you're like, oh my god, it's such a back part, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> So today we're gonna play We're Not Really Strangers, but the relationship deck. Yeah, wait, did you know that like we're in a relationship? <laughs> we're not really strangers either. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a chill video, you know. You can get to know more about our relationship. Who should go first? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't even um, determine who's going. I can go first. I'll okay. ask you the questions. Three, two, one, go! First question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how open do you feel I am with you? Explain. I would say, I think because I've heard you literally say this to me, I would say maybe like a 9.5 or a 9.75. Which I was like, whoa, wow. Like in a year and a half or, you know, a year and eight months <laughs> um you know that's pretty good to be almost 100 percent. so look at us man you would never know that we're, we're, we were strangers at one point what assumptions did you make about me that turned out to be false oh interesting oh okay. this was a good one yeah that's good uh i'll say this spicer. was hard because like it's kind of spicer. I, I, <laughs> what if you're like oh my god it's such a back part it's so cute <laughs> So when I first met you, I feel like like in college, you meet a lot of different people, okay? Everyone that I met always did some sort of like drugs <laughs> or like jeweling. Jeweling is such a big one. So my assumption was like, I thought you jeweled, but then like, I think one day I just asked you, I was like, oh, like, do you jewel? And you're like, oh no, I, I don't do any of that stuff. And I was like, oh. Mm. Next question. What was the first thing you noticed about me? Okay, so there's three things that come to mind. I'm trying to think of the first one though. Okay, the first thing was that you were cute. Because, okay, I was gonna say that she was shy, and that was the biggest one, I'll say, is that you were shy. Yeah. But the first one was like, oh damn, she's kind of cute. You hear that? <laughs> Yeah, she's still cute. Next one. What do you think my perfect date night would be? So perfect date night, it has to be something low key because you're not the type of person to enjoy like like large crowds or like- Clubbing. Like, yeah, like clubbing or anything like yeah. that. So definitely not that. Obviously going to a nice restaurant, maybe like a Korean restaurant, getting like some nice yummy kimchi sundubu. Ooh, <laughs> Horror. <laughs> and also drinking not too heavily obviously just like there casually drinking mm -hmm. talking throughout the night having like a quality conversation mm -hmm. and then maybe getting dessert afterwards mm -hmm. i think after that maybe we can not even know like play games <laughs> yeah i'm just thinking of it realistically yeah. like what we can actually do yeah. and what is perfect in terms of that i wouldn't also be opposed to like like doing an activity oh, like, <laughs> like walk around walks. yeah oh my gosh. yeah, yeah. maybe that. like yeah uh, going on a ferris wheel or something like some, something really low-key i mean i'm not a <laughs> if we go on a ferris wheel we'd be like <laughs> <laughs> things maybe even um take pictures I think mm -hmm. that's that's pretty cool as well. If we look in You know, Who do you think was more nervous on our first date? Explain. First date was oh um was going to our tech house. Yes. I would say me, cause okay. like one, I planned the date, so I mean the thing is is that I would want it to go well. You want to leave a good impression on, on the other person. <laughs> You're good. You could just like that. Boom. <laughs> hole. <laughs> What would she do without me? Oh my yeah. gosh! What? She's gonna <laughs> open the yogurt wrappers. <laughs> and yeah, I I would definitely want her to enjoy her time, and all that stuff. Cause I think if if she if she planned it, I think that she would probably be no more nervous. Cause she wants to impress have me. You. Yeah, exactly. And I wanted to impress her as well. I wanted her to have a fun time. And uh, from my understanding, it was a good date, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was really fun. I was like really surprised by your plans because mm. like I've been wanting to go to Arctic House for like a really long time mm -hmm. and like the fact that I never mentioned it to you and the fact that that was part of our plans I was like oh my gosh like how did he know yeah. and it's not like anyone even told you either you just were like oh like this would be a good place to go to yeah and I was like one. <laughs> <laughs> I would say for, for guys out there, if, if you're watching, being low key and all that stuff is pretty cool. But like, also going on like little cool little dates is, is pretty nice. Your significant other also appreciates it as well. Cause it's pretty you know nice, fun comparison to just chilling 
you know, taking naps <laughs> and like watching Netflix. You know what I mean? That's what we do now. <laughs> which, which is, you know, which is like really, really, really nice. You know, it doesn't yeah. cost any money, chill, no stress. But from time to time, that nice little boom is really nice but anyways yeah like obviously you don't have to go on adventures like every single date night that's expensive that's yeah first of all that's how expensive and second that's exhausting so it's nice to have like a balance of that yeah now what go to level two yeah level two three two one go 39 okay. okay we're not gonna do 39 how do i show that i love you without telling you oh <laughs> yeah this one's pretty easy in my opinion I mean, I would say either physically, so probably like hugs. You could tell from a hug, like just like a little squeeze like like that. I would say, you know, from your hug. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this one's a bit tough, but yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this one looks interesting. What has this relationship taught you about yourself? Wow, that's a very deep question. I so think deep. it's like we're connecting. Uh. Eh. Bye. Oh! There's a lot of things. A lot of things that this relationship has taught me about myself. But I think one of the things that pop out a lot is my... <laughs> hey! <laughs> my want to help you. Some personal issues or anything like that. And me wanting to help. I think I have to know my boundaries for that as well. Like, I've noticed I need to learn how to, like, step back sometimes and not overstep our boundaries. Like, me being too involved or me being too, like, invasive for relationships. We know a lot about each other and, like, a lot of personal <coughs> things. But the best thing to do for certain things is, like, just to sit there and listen. Mm -hmm. Rather than, like, trying to, like, give advice and constantly try to, like, put a plan to, like, help fix things. And, like, sometimes, you know, it's okay to just sit in the moment for a bit especially mm -hmm. if you're not ready to step forward mm -hmm. because you know everyone goes at a different pace although it might be better but you truly don't know what's better for them mm -hmm. and what they're going through and like mm -hmm. what they're okay with because you're not them exactly like yeah. we're not i'm not you and i'm not you yeah, yeah so i can't tell you what to do and expect to know like oh it's gonna be good for you yeah immediately so when it worked for you but it might not work for me exactly yeah <laughs> so i think that's something that i learned for myself that was really deep wow, that is super deep but <laughs> wow oh wow oh, that's good okay <coughs> this one's hard okay <laughs> what song best describes our relationship i was gonna say rex orange county loving is easy but no <laughs> um that's bullshit not gonna lie the only the th the first one that comes to mind is daniel caesar blessed uh, yeah yes i'm a mess but i'm blessed to be stuck with you yeah Aww. that one i think that describes both of us <laughs> yeah <laughs> what feelings are hard for you to communicate to me how can i make it easier Damn. yeah i think it is jealousy how can you make it easier for me i mean here's the thing yo gina is a pretty good supporter i think it's just a matter of myself rather than what you can do you know what i mean because like a thing is is like you whenever you hear that i am jealous or you know like like something you know puts me off then you're, you're pretty understanding you're not you know you're not like upset at me for for having those feelings if anything you're like you know it's perfectly understandable and, and, and reasonable for you to <coughs> to feel this way and i think it also helps that you have had similar feelings as well some things are just meant for you to just improve upon yourself and that's the only way that you can communicate it better oh what a day of completely spoiling me look like gene <laughs> yeah spoil me baby <laughs> okay a day of spoiling you mm -hmm. but obviously we would have to go to hawaii oh and then we will go to like your favorite restaurant of all time curry house shout out y'all okay <laughs> curry house across from uh pearl ridge shout out y'all okay okay curry house next to genki sushi i think right. shout out y'all <laughs> okay <laughs> let me be your little you know what I'm saying? your little wibble dibble you know what I'm saying? let me be your little cub oh cougar ass you're yeah. older than me <laughs> getting you shoes there you go going on a whole shopping spree and maybe like uniqlo okay staying at a really bougie hotel mm -hmm. you know like those hotel rooms that have like jacuzzis and there's even like a bar in oh the hotel room and there's like this huge bed and all of that um it's pretty accurate i'll say the only two things that you're missing is maybe buying a ps5 oh shit <laughs> and a pc and buying a whole my the whole set for a pc 
Three, two, one, go. So, CJ. Okay. What about our relationship? Are you proudest? There's a lot of things that I'm proud of of our relationship. I would say I would say this is kind of corny and this is kind of basic, you could say. But like the amount of growth that we've made, you know, we we've grown in multiple aspects. We've grown in maturity, communication skills. We've grown in intimacy. Percy for me, I would consider her or one of my best friends if not my best friend, you know what I mean? that's you know that's that's just how i feel towards her you know she's priceless to me i think the fact that we also were in a relationship for a majority of covid like our our relationship is like basically all of covid and it's still going on to this day i'll say to the extent that we had to go through it was difficult and plus it was basically being long distance but not long distance so i think just the fact that we went through that shows how much we've improved but anyways thank you for helping me realize blank about myself is this you I guess I'll say thank you for helping me find myself again. <laughs> really? Yeah, because I feel like after freshman year of college, I was going through a little bit identity crisis. From then till like I like met CJ, I think I was just kind of like roaming around like figuring out myself again, just like being in a relationship with you and like just like you opening up like the silly side of me and also acknowledging like different parts about me that I kind of forgot about it's basically okay. just helping me find myself again mm, I really like that I think I think that was probably one of the biggest compliments that you've ever said to me because you've said this in the past but like the fact I don't know that's just such a big thing you know what I mean just to help someone be comfortable with themselves and like also accept themselves because I, th- I think that's just a matter of like that just like you know feeling comfortable in their own skin well it's been real <laughs> it's been real hope you all have a great day or a great night much love to you all thank you for sticking to the end of the video if you're at this point mm-hmm. if you have any video ideas or you have any suggestions yeah uh or, or you really like this type of a video then uh let us know in the comments and uh, we'll be sure to keep it going but yeah i mean i really appreciate supporting my my little my little wibble dibble over here <laughs> my little you know my little <laughs> cupcake in this See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Oh my god.